take a look at this forlorn photo from my JW family. By any chance, does this desolate photo with backs to me look like I'm being shunned? My fleshly brother, who is also a Jehovah's Witness elder, sent me a photo of my son and my granddaughter after 12 years of nothing. Watching this photo of my son walking away, but not one photo of their faces, my heart broke. I thought to myself that this religion turns loving hearts into hearts of stone. I wept for my children, caught in the Babylonish religion of Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh. Anyway, through all of this, I came up with a little poem titled Hearts of Stone, what else, say? Eh? When I left religion, I sacrificed my beloved children on the altar of religion. I left, and they stayed. Now I'm shunned, abandoned by their love, yet I am free from religion. But religion turned our hearts to stone. I am free, but for religion. I miss my kids. While happy memories of my children in my albums remain close to my heart, I live a new life, free of religion. But religion turned hearts to stone. My heart aches. Religion teaches that it's okay to shred precious family bonds. In the name of God. But our hearts have turned to stone. Yet stones are living beings with beating hearts. What does it take for a heart to beat? Pick up a stone and feel its heartbeat. It has one, you know. A stone is filled with love and a lesson. Oh, how to have a living heart of love. Stones warm themselves in the sun their hearts beat strong. They are sure of their place in the world. Oh, to be a stone in the hearts of my children. If my children have hearts of stone, There is hope. The stones I know have beating hearts filled with love. And the stones I know speak 
volumes.